in this video, I'm going to show you how you can line up your acrylic blanks on your mat for engraving. Now, I have an Explore machine, but I use this uh, Shoma's Precision Tip engraving tool from Amazon, and I have not had any issues with it. I've been using it a long time. I've engraved many, many, many um, acrylics with it. And um, I know a lot of people have used it for years with no issues. But if you have a warranty on your machine, uh, it will void the warranty. Because it's a third party tool. Okay. So just keep that in mind. But like I said, I haven't had any issues. I've not heard of anyone saying, I got this precision tip engraving tool and now um, my machine's doing this or it's not doing that or whatever. Never heard of it. All right. So it's safe to use. All right. So the first thing you want to do is find an image. And then we're going to go to... 143vinyl.com and here they have under blanks acrylics they have a ton of acrylics they have key change bad reels I can't talk they have little mini keychains or, or um, you know ornaments for the tree or whatever they have ornament they have a lot of um, acrylic blanks and they have SVGs for those um, acrylic blanks. So today I'm going to do the LED base. And here you have uh, seven different shapes. And I'm going to use this square. All right. And what I need to do is get an SVG file for that square. So I'm going to go back to blanks, acrylics, and go to acrylic SVG file downloads and click on this. And then up here at the top, you have all of your LED shapes. I'm going to choose the square and I'm going to save it to my desktop. And then I can close out of that. And then I'm going to come where my shape or my um, image is. This is what I'm going to engrave. And I need to upload that blank. So I have already done it. I'm going to just select it and add it to my canvas. Do not resize this, okay? Uh, I'm going to change the color though so I can see my image here on top of it. Now it's behind it, so I need to come up to arrange and send to front. And then I can size this to fit my blank and position it where I want it in the center. <clears throat> okay, now I can select all this and move it out of the way a minute. I'm going to uh, choose a circle and select it. And I'm gonna make the size of this 0 0.01, all right? It's gonna be very tiny. And then my position, now you know if you use a Cricut mat, you have that quarter of an inch on each side in top and bottom. So I need to make my position uh, 0 0.25 for the X and 0 0.25 for the Y. And that puts it right up here in that corner. Now I want this to be at the one inch and the one inch mark. So I know when I place my blank on my mat, I'm gonna line it up with the one inch and the one inch, all right? So to make sure that this is one inch and one inch, I'm going to just go ahead and make sure that my position for my X and my Y both say one inch, all right? And then I need to, um, well, I can turn off my blank right now. I don't need that anymore. 
but I do need to select all so that I get that little shape selected as well. And you'll know because if I, let, let me detach that a minute. Well, I'd never attached it. You'll know that it has that because your um, selection box here is going to get bigger. All right. So again, if I go to select all, then it catches that little circle. And then I'm going to attach those. I'm going to go to make it. And you'll see that this is lined up at the one inch and the one inch. Now I do have a space here and a space here, but that's because if I turn my blank back on, I have that space there and that space there. All right. So let's go to make it. <clears throat> and then I can go ahead and engrave this. I'm going to place my acrylic blank at the one inch and one inch. So the side is going to line up here. The top will line up here and this will, <clears throat> excuse me, engrave on the inside. Now I found that this is the best, fastest, easiest way to do it. And it, it always engraves in the perfect spot. So let me go ahead and cancel this. The one thing that you are going to want to do is change your operation. You're going to want your operation uh, to cut because if you're using an explore, your engraving tool is going to go in the same slot that your um, blade does. It's not going to go in where your pen goes in. It's going to go in where your blade goes. And I, I believe it's the, I don't know, I would have to turn my machine on and look. I believe that it is the B slot. Sorry about that. I thought that's what it was, but I wanted to be positive. So in the B carriage, that's where you're going to put your engraving tool. And you're good to go. All right. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And, oh, the setting. I use the um, light cardstock setting, and I do it twice. I could probably use the um cardstock setting and do it once but i was afraid that that was a little bit too much pressure and it might move my acrylic around and that's another thing you want to make sure that your acrylic blanks are secure on your mat now i have a separate mat for engraving and what i use is double-sided tape not the scotch tape. I use the crafting. Um, let me look and see if I can tell you the brand of it. Um, but like I said, I have a dedicated mat for that. Anyway, um, they work fine. They do not move, <laughs> but... Like I said, I'm afraid if I use the cardstock setting, it might be a little bit too much pressure. So I just use the light cardstock and I run it through two times and they look great. 